today I'm going to be talking about making stubs in MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty. More specifically, talking about flipping cards. We're going for 631 or more likes on the video. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 60,000 subscribers. If we had that before June 1st, we're getting away $100. Feel free, if you guys are new, you're watching, you're not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button because we're trying to hit 57,000 today, which would be pretty awesome to see. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. If you guys want to, use code twin on controlfreak.com. Comment down below. Maybe some other stuff making methods you guys have, moments, collections, uh, you know, anything like that. If you guys have any tips or tricks, questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Maybe someone could give you an answer. Maybe you could be helping someone out if it's a tip, anything like that. So one video today really touched on this. I think I'm talking about it in this video and on the first video today, I'm pretty sure. But overall today is just a weird day, man. It's a, it's a tough day. So I was recording for two and a half hours and, and the first, I'm okay. I'm all over the place and I'm sorry. It's going to be just a minute or two before we get into the flipping itself. So I apologize about that. There's just a couple things I want to say. So number one, uh, I recorded for two and a half hours. My computer crashed. The file got corrupted and I lost that two and a half hours of gameplay. I felt like it was going to be a great video. It was another plane until 12 wins or two losses, had some great comebacks in bottom of the third inning, stuff like that all gone so that was frustrating but it was like whatever i can't change it we just got to bounce back so i recorded today's first video and then after that my internet service provider called me i've been waiting on a call back for like five days now they finally called me i was on the phone for three hours honestly over three hours like three hours 15 minutes majority of that was spent being on hold being transferred between one person to another uh because they couldn't transfer me to the right person or someone who was you know trying to talk to me about what i wanted to talk about so two and a half hours gone from recording three hours three hours 15 minutes three and a half hours gone from talking on the phone pretty much no progress being made with my internet service provider trying to get my internet figured out so that i can hopefully stream for you guys so it's been a rough day it's been a long day it's been a frustrating day and i'm all over the place so if i'm seeming out of it if the videos are kind of out of it today that's why i think the second video today the one that went up before this uh kind of went more in depth with that with everything so if you want to check that out go ahead um but i think i talked about it a little bit more on there and it's just been overall a weird day so if it's if i'm feeling weird if the videos are strange today it's just been a weird day and i'm a little bit out of it so ever since the community market was a thing back and i think maybe mlb 15 or 14 now i the first year i started playing was mlb 15 but ever since i've been playing one of the best if not the best ways to consistently make stubs is flipping cards and working the market and this video i'm hoping to give you guys you know more insight to that kind of walk y'all through how to do it a lot of you guys might already know how to do it but i'm just hoping to use this as like a tutorial video kind of show you guys uh what i do when i flip cards and what i think the best way and, and the proper way to be flipping cards is to be making stubs this way now i will say you do have to be pretty patient to be able to make a lot of stubs through, through this way uh you can make some big bets see if they pay off but when you're at the community market, you can do this on pretty much anything. Uh, I know equipment and MLB cards are usually the best way. Equipment has pretty big gaps in prices, but it doesn't typically move fast as a player would, especially live series players. So one thing I will say, whenever there's, you know, a new card introduced into the game, uh, the one that I kind of want to take, for example, right now is Matt Kemp. A lot of times there will be big price differentials, and that's what you want to look at when flipping cards and so you might be able to buy him you know say for somehow like 130,000 stubs and sell him for 160 and you make a big profit now his price has gone down it's kind of settled out so you're probably not going to be able to do that but when i'm flipping cards and and for the sake of just hoping to keep it simple for you guys in this video i typically will go to live series players and I usually don't focus on the diamonds just because they don't move nearly as fast. The gaps aren't too big. And one thing to keep in mind, okay, is there is a 10% uh, uh, sales tax. So if you sell a card for 100,000 stubs, right, you create a sell order for 100,000 stubs, then you're only going to get 90,000, right? There's a 10% tax taken out. So you're only going to get 90,000 of that 100,000 you're selling it for. So just for clean numbers, that's why I'm using that as an example. But when you're selling cards, there is a sales tax. There's a 10% sales tax on the market. And you want to keep that in mind. That's why I typically will focus on gold, silvers, and bronze players. Now for this video, we're going to be looking at gaps. And this is kind of what you guys want to be doing. You want to be looking for big gaps in between the buy now 
and the sell now prices okay so just right off the bat to me anthony rizzo that's a pretty big gap you know it, it's a four or five hundred stub gap so you go into the buy and sell options and what you want to do is create a buy order okay and when you're entering the price what i typically do and what i would recommend is doing it for one more than the current sell now order if you see there's a big gap so like it's 1950 and 1935 for the sell now that's not huge uh, if i was flipping cards on my own i would probably put this in for 1936 just because that 1950 is probably going to sell but for the sake of this video i'm going to do 1951 that's one higher than the current sell now price so now if someone wants to sell this card oh so, so someone someone's actually already done 1951 so let's do 1952 uh, actually let's just do three why not I mean, we'll make it too high but one nine five three so now if someone wants to buy the card uh or sell the card sorry so if you pull the card in the pack and sell sell now you have to sell to me because i'm the highest sell now price so someone actually bought mine and let me just cancel this order right here too so someone bought mine now i'm gonna go ahead and turn it around we're gonna create a sell order okay and i typically do this again for one less than now the buy now price so I'm going to do 2463. That's one lower than the 2464 cur current buy now. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I can't talk today. So 2463. So I would get, as you guys can see, it said 2,217 stubs. Again, someone put one in for way lower. Um, let me actually just cancel mine and, and, you know, undercut that guy. Because you might. this is why it takes patience. People are going to be uh, outbidding you, undercutting you and stuff. So this is why it can take patience. You're going to have to cancel orders sometimes or wait longer for it to sell. So... If we're selling it for 2448 because of the sales tax, we're getting 2203 Now, that is still going to be a 250 stub profit. So, for one flip, okay, if this card does sell, which I'm hoping it will in this video, that's going to be 250 stubs profit just from flipping one card. And now, 250 stubs might not seem like a lot but it really can add up over time and if you're patient you're always having buy orders in you're always having sell orders and you're always moving you're always going on the market those stubs are definitely going to add up quickly now one thing to do while you're flipping cards you can go in and check the buy now and sell now options and see someone's undercut me right it's 2447 so i'm going to go in cancel my order and i'm going to go back and create a sell order and put it at one lower than they undercut me for we're, we're in an undercutting war right now here on the market so hopefully that will sell but if you guys are wondering how to cancel your order you press x when you're on a card and these three options pop up buy sell now options my active orders and completed orders and you want to click my active orders and then when you are on this screen you can scroll through your buy and sell orders that you have click on one and you can cancel it if you wish and that's what we did to be able to cancel that one so hopefully this sells during the video i'm hoping it will but what i like to do a lot of the times if i'm flipping cards i'll look for other ones okay you know i'll be kind of scrolling through the market oh look josh bell that's a pretty big uh you know that's a pretty big gap it's about 500 stubs so we can create a buy order for josh bell you know put it one higher than the current sell now price you can move this little thing around with your right analog stick on your controller so i'm going to do one five six four and hopefully yeah okay so that's going to be the highest one if someone wants to sell now the card if someone wants to click on sell and sell the card they have to do it for me because i'm the highest buy order right and it's the same thing if someone wants to buy the card for this price uh they would have to do me if i am the lowest buy now price so i'm going to just go ahead and undercut that one since i already had a sellable josh bell so we'll do 2047 so right there so we're hoping that our buy order could go through someone is actually undercut me again they did it by a few stubs it looks like right yeah yeah so or someone's someone's outbidding me on this but you guys get the point i'm hoping uh in terms of maybe since it's 1566 right here i might want to cancel the order and you know put it in for a little bit higher for my buy order just so someone might be willing to sell it to me and they would have to sell it to me rather than that other person so hopefully one of these does sell through on the video if not it's not a big deal but that's why you got to be patient man because people are going to be undercutting you they're going to be outbidding you and you might have to cancel orders or you might just have to wait longer for your buy order to go through or your sell order to go through now you're gonna find the biggest gaps probably between diamond players gold players diamond equipment gold equipment stuff like that so you might be making more profit per flip uh, but if you go to let's 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 go to some silvers here okay Let, let's check out some silver so there's going to be gaps here that obviously aren't as big but in my experience and if you guys have experienced anything differently in my experience the silver players and the bronze players move a little bit faster than the gold players or diamond players diamond equipment stuff like that the, the flips are going to happen 
typically in my experience a little bit faster with silver players and bronze players so while you're not making as much per flip you're getting more flips per hour per minute per whatever you know unit of time you want to measure by right you're going to be getting flips more often than you would be with gold or diamond players at least in my experience now gold players they do usually move pretty fast just in my experience not as fast as a silver or bronze player so you know you might want to experiment a little bit try flipping some silvers bronzes golds maybe even diamonds except diamonds with the t sales tax are probably not going to be uh worth your time you're probably going to be losing stubs if you try to create a sell order after creating a buy order with a lot of the stuff or you're going to barely be breaking even that's probably just typically overall not worth it to try to flip diamond players in my experience right i'm sorry that i keep saying in my experience but i'm trying to let you guys know that i've done this before i've made a lot of stubs by flipping cards before and i try to focus on if i can the golds but it usually goes a little bit faster uh, in terms of flipping singular cards when i'm doing silvers or bronze players and that's another reason though why you want to try to have a lot of buy orders in at once right like we can just we could literally go pretty much down the list okay so we could just do many machado okay so i'm going to do two one seven two let's just undercut this okay so we'll put a buy order okay someone someone already outbid me for him but i'm going to keep going down the list right Corey kluber now there's a pretty big gap there so we're going to do two one five two for him and hopefully that goes through and we can get that buy order through now zach greeky i like to just keep going down the list and be outbidding by one and i like to have a lot of orders in at a time we already have a zach greeky to sell so i can just put this in right now too and there's a lot of gaps and differences in between the buy now prices so i'm actually you know just because i'm hoping he'll sell eventually i'm going to go two five nine six and when we put this in it's not going to be at the top someone doesn't have to be me but we are three down so say two people buy that grinky then mine's going to be the next one and it might not sell or it might take a while to sell but i'm hoping it does sell after a while and i could go ahead and if i wanted to put in a buy order for dj lemayhu and it's the same thing you know if you're flipping equipment you're flipping bronze players silver players like whatever it may be it's the same thing i would recommend if you're trying to flip cards and make stubs this way i would highly recommend having a lot of buy orders in at once a lot of sell orders in at once there's a limit of orders that you can have in at a time i don't know what that number is i think they increase it pretty much every year probably based on what the servers they th think can handle and everything but i know a lot of people who make a lot of stubs from flipping cards on the market and they try to have their buy orders and sell orders they try to have their active orders maxed out at all times right they try to have it maxed out as much as they can so they're always moving stubs they're always making stubs and just try to be doing as much as they can with their time trying to be as efficient and as profitable as possible i'm hoping this guide helped at least a few of you guys out i'm hoping it was pretty easy to follow i tried to walk you through the entire process while explaining why some things are necessary some things might not be necessary stuff like that so i'm hoping that i did a good job if you have anything that needs clarifying definitely feel free to ask it in the comment section and i or someone that sees your comment will hopefully be able to respond and give you an answer to whatever your question may be and the main reason i wanted to make this video is i've been having a lot of people ask me like hey do you have any recommendations on how to make stubs in diamond dynasty and this is one of the just most consistent ways every single year to be making stubs obviously you can do moments player programs just play the game stuff like that conquest right there's a lot of stuff oh DJ LeMahieu he just uh we just got a buy order so we need to sell him now let's put in a two four eight three and now we're gonna and see this one's not big this is not a big profit it's only gonna be like a 50 stub profit but it's still a profit and that's why you got to be patient because it takes time to do this but this is one of the most consistent ways to make stubs it will always work you will always be able to work the market it, it, it's been a thing since at least mlb 15 and i just wanted to make a video that talked about how to make stubs for even people who have like all the player programs done they have all the moments done whatever it may be this is a way for you to make stubs without having to do stuff like that it, it's a way other than you know playing the game to be earning stubs and i'm hoping that it hopefully helped out i'm hoping hopefully that it helped at least a few of you guys out there and i know a lot of people like I've, I've talked about flipping cards a lot of people have asked hey can you you know give an in-depth tutorial on how to actually do that so i'm hoping this video helps i'm hoping it was clear if it's not definitely feel free to ask some questions down in that comment section like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching Peace out.